No matter how much I set up my camera today, I'm not happy with the angle. So, it is what it is. Um, oh my god. Okay. So, uh, I started talking, so now my dogs are freaking out. Maybe it's the lighting that's the problem. Well, that's a little better. Maybe I'm just tired and I look like hell. Um, uh, my friend Deborah over on Instagram just asked me what's on my needles right now, and I thought, I want a reason to procrastinate and not do work, so why don't I do a video about everything that's on my needles right now? I'm not even kidding, that's exactly what just happened. Um, so I'm gonna talk real quick about my projects. I'm gonna talk first about the ones that are almost done, like this close to done. Uh, I have a couple that are almost done. And then I'll go into the ones that I've just cast on. Um, I just cast off, just bound off, and I'm working on writing up the pattern for a new shawl that will be out very soon. It's a collaboration with Woolly Witch of the West, and uh, we're determining the release date right now. So literally like minutes ago we were, we were talking about it. Um, so I'll let you know when that is coming out. It is absolutely my favorite thing I've ever designed. It is quirky and it is um, asymmetrical and it is, it's just, I just love it. I just love it. Um, so there's that. That's one of the things that's been on my needles recently. I have almost finished, and I'm talking almost finished, this hat. This is a uh, another one of my Helix Knit hats. It's literally just missing the pom-pom, which ne clearly needs a little trimming, and then it needs to be put on. And that's it. Oh, and like maybe an end or two needs to be woven in. It's almost done. It's so close to done. So I have this suitcase that I got as a from a friend of mine who sells antiques. Um, she just kind of gifted this to me. I keep my projects that are in the works, but maybe being put on the back burner right now into it. So that's where that's going right now, along with my two, along with my two embroidery projects that I've been working on, or one's a cross stitch and one's an embroidery. Um, I haven't been doing those lately, I've just not been in the mood for that. So those are in there. So that project's almost done. I had these two hats in there and I'm not sure why. These are also both Helix Knit hats. I think maybe I intended to put a pom-pom on this one, but I was just looking at it with the little point and I don't know, I think it's kind of cute the way it is. And I think I'm gonna give it to a kid. I feel like somebody needs that, but I haven't figured out who yet. Um, and then I think the same with this one, I was gonna put a pom-pom on it. I think I was just trying to use up some pink yarn. I don't know why. I don't really particularly like pink, and for some reason I just had mounds of pink yarn. So I did a bunch of Helix Knit hats to use up some pink yarn, really is what it was about. So those are almost done. Um, this is my Ayant hat, which I released the pattern, what was it, last month? Um, I just did another one for my wife. I made a big deal in my pattern <laughs> about how you need to make sure you're not pulling your floats too tight, and then I did exactly that on this hat. Um, I haven't blocked it yet, so it's a little bit messy still. But I haven't decided if I'm going to undo it. She really wanted the, she wanted a blue, um, what is that called, the brim? She wanted that to be blue. And then the trees are green. It's hard to tell in this light, but yeah, that's blue. The trees are green and then the white. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is I got some glow in the dark yarn and I want to go through and make some stars with like a um, duplicate stitch. Um, I want to use duplicate stitches and the glow in the dark yarn to make some stars in the sky of this. This is very white and the white th that I use for the hat is kind of more of a cream. So they're going to show up either way, um, but it'll be super fun for them to glow, I think. So that is almost done. And then I have another hat for my wife. She wears a lot of hats. We both wear a lot of hats, so I knit a lot of hats for us. Um, this one I just kind of, I really wanted to knit it. And then when I was making it, she was like, can I have that? Because she really liked it. So this one bears, oh, that's where my size eight needles are. I was looking for those. Oh, I'm missing a project. It's in my office. So the reason that I'm in the living room is because my wife is sleeping. She's been having insomnia. And I'm just now realizing that my flax sweater that I've been working on is still in my office, which is right off the bedroom. And I'm not gonna go in there while she's finally sleeping. Um, so the flax, the, that's, 
there was a path to that. <laughs> These are the size eight needles that I need for the flax. I took them off my flax circulars and put them on this circular so that I could knit this hat real quick and then I'll put them back on the flax when I start working on that again. Um, but this is a rainbow and again I did this with the helix knit. I did um, the six colors of the rainbow flag and then a black stripe in between. And then she wants me to put a visor kind of thing on like she wants it she wants it to you know a little so I've been kind of doing some research into how to do that I think I'm gonna do it with short rows and a strip of plastic I gotta figure out exactly how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do that so I haven't finished that yet but that is almost done clearly are those all my almost done projects oh this blanket that you've seen forever ago that I still haven't wound in the ends. I need to put the ends in because Christmas is actually coming. <laughs> um, it's almost Halloween, so Christmas is coming and I need to do that so that I can give that to my niece for Christmas. So there's those. Um, I have my ongoing blanket that I'll be making until the end of time, which is getting very large. Um, my meter square sock yarn blanket that I have been adding some rows to. I'm trying to make it, I started out making this as a rectangle blanket and then I decided that I wanted this like scallopy kind of edge to it. So I'm trying to even it out so that it's more, so it's easier to like visualize where those need to go. Um, so I've been working on that. And then I have the wingspan shawl that I started I haven't made any progress on that because I think I talked about this before, but I'll mention it again just in case. Um, I broke one of my needles. I sat on it. So these are my Knitter's Pride wooden needles. I loved these needles. Absolutely loved them. I was really sad that I broke one. So I ordered replacement size fours, but I accidentally ordered shorties. And I'm finding them super annoying to work with. I found myself resisting working on the project because of the shorty needle. So I did one shorty and one long for a while to see if that would like make it okay and it's still just annoying me. So finally I ordered the Knitter's Pride size fours again, but I ordered them in the Zing, which is the aluminum. Um, and I haven't tried the Zing yet before. I've only ever used the Knitter's Pride, I think they're the Dreams, the wooden ones before. This will be my first time using the Zing. So I'm gonna try to get those switched out today and maybe start working on that again today because I do really wanna finish that project or at least make some progress on it. So I have that on the needles and then I have this scarf. And I, was, I told myself I was going to look up the yarn, the name of this yarn, before I started, and of course I didn't. I know it's cassowary, Australian cassowary something. I ordered it on um, yarn.com, I think, and it, the color I know is called Rainforest, and I love this color. I love it. And I have no pattern. Um, I went online and I found this leaf motif. I don't, know if, I don't know how well we can see it on here, but I'm gonna try. Um, it's just like a leaf motif that's a repeat 15 stitches. So I cast on, I think 45 plus two for the edges. Um, and I'm just repeating the leaf motif up. I've done a once a long time ago, like right before we bought our house, I did a washcloth with this same leaf motif. <laughs> leaf motif sounds funny. Um, but with the same leaf motif, I did a washcloth. I really like how it comes out. I'm not finding it super easy with this kind of mohair -y yarn on metal needles. They're very, it's slipping around a lot. But I also, I don't think I wanna switch them to wooden needles. I don't know, we'll see. I uh, haven't made it very far on that. But that's been kind of my like bedtime project. When I want something that's kind of gonna take some brain power, but not so much brain power that I can't also watch TV while I do it. Unlike the wingspan shawl, which tends to take a lot of brain power. Uh, so that's that project. And then the last one that I currently have on the needles is this blanket. So I know everybody who is new to knitting buys this yarn. I did it myself. Like we all do it and it is horrible to work with. So this is the Lion Brand Homespun. I love how it comes out. It's beautiful once you've knit with it, but the actual process of knitting with it especially if you're new to knitting, is really hard. It catches a lot. There's like, 
Let's see if I can show it kind of up close. So, oh, here we go. So it's got these like little nubs the whole way, which is made by this other, this tiny little thread that's pulled taut. It's hard to explain, but it's hard to work with anyway. So a friend of mine, I haven't told her this yet. I guess if she comes about, if she comments on this, this will be how I find out she watches my channel. Um, a friend of mine lost her mother recently. And when her mother passed away and they were cleaning out her house, she found a bunch of yarn and she gave me the yarn. And I found in the yarn two skeins of this. It's the Lion Brand Homespun Sierra. And her mom had been... Um, there was a pattern with it and a couple of stitches on the needles, but not very many. Like, she had done maybe 10 stitches of what was apparently going to be a prayer shawl or a prayer mat or something like that. I'm not really sure. So I undid the stitches except for the last three and moved them to my Knitter's Pride um, circulars and 13s. And I'm just doing a super simple, like, triangle to corner to corner um, blanket with them. So my plan is I just, it's literally like you knit to yarn over and knit to the end until you get to the middle of the blanket. And then I'll knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and knit to the end to decrease, right? So my plan is I'm going to keep going like this through this skein of yarn when I get to the end of this one and I switch to this one that's when I'll start the decreases so however big that turns out to be that'll be the size of the blanket I imagine it'll probably be something similar to this one which is like four feet by four feet it's like a lap blanket and then I'm going to give that to my friend who lost her mother because um, the first couple of stitches were her mom's stitches and that way she has something. I don't know, it just seemed like a sweet gift to do. It's not a yarn that I would do anything else with except for a blanket just because the homespun, I do just find it really difficult to work with. So that is my current brainless project. Like that's my project when I can't think and I just need, like especially if I'm in a meeting or something and I just need something to keep my hands busy. Is that everything? I actually don't have a pair of socks on the needles right now, which is really odd for me. I almost always have socks on my needles. Um, I have, this is my new bag. It's from the, I went to a Stevie Nicks concert a couple of weeks ago um, and it's got some flowers. It was done by an artist in Ukraine uh, and Stevie Nicks is using it to raise funds for Ukraine and it's really a really beautiful project. Um, so I threw into this bag the other day, I was headed out for the day somewhere, and I threw in, this is really wound up, um, this is like that Croy FX sock yarn. This is, I swear, the toughest sock yarn I have ever used. Um, I have a pair of socks that I've made with this yarn. It was one of the first pairs of socks I ever made, and I've never had to darn them, and I wear them all winter long. <laughs> so, like, they're, they're absolutely the most likely pair of socks to find on my feet. So my plan is, I haven't done this yet, but my plan is to do the toe and the heel in the leftovers of that Croy FX. And then, um, this is the brown that I just used in the pumpkin socks pattern, which I'm releasing like tomorrow as of when I'm recording this. So I think two days ago, um, when you see it. Um, but I can't remember what it's called, but uh, my plan is to cast on the Croy effects for the toe and that for the foot. But I currently don't have a pair of socks on my needles, which is really weird for me. But God knows I have enough other projects on my needles. So that's everything on my needles right now. I should really finish something up, like maybe this stack of hats that need like five seconds each or something. Anyway, what's on your needles? Talk to me. Tell me about your projects and go make something magical.